All right. Have you come, all right, to understand that more clearly now, circular measure? Now, the crucial point that we've got to know is A, area of sector equals to half R squared theta, and the arc length is equal to R theta. Now, we have this beautiful sum, two circles of radius, each of radius 10 cm, and they intersect at X and Y. And the centers of the circle are A and B. These are the centers of the circle. And the distance from A to B is 16 cm. Is 16 cm. The distance between A to B is 16 cm. We need to find out a little more detail. Let's look at what the sum is asking. When you look at a sum like that, oh, oh my God. How am I going to do it? I mean, that's a mindset which is common for many of us. But we've got to shake it off because we know circular measure and we can do it. Be confident. All right. Now, what they say, this length is 16 and the radius is 10. If I join X to A, what's the length? 10. Ah, isn't it a radius from the center to any point on the circle? That's called the radius. So that's 10. And from year to year, that's 10. And what is the length from year to year? 16. Ooh, you see it? I see so many properties in it. I see I can find this angle. I can use cosine rule, a quick refreshment of cosine rule. What is cosine rule all about? If you remember, if I want to find out this angle, what do I do? I make this side the leader. Imagine the Indian dance. A squared equals to B squared plus C squared minus 2AB cos C. Remember the Indian dance? Well, that's a very important formula. You want to find out this is six, R16 squared. You can put this angle, all right? And so 16 squared will be equals to 10 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 10 times 10 cos and if that angle is called x all right if that angle is called small x you put cos x and you can find that out but what do they want they want x a b ah where is x a b hey hey x a b you're there and x a b because you see the isosceles triangle and if you see it, so these two angles will be equal. And who's going to be the leader? All right, if you want to use cosine rule, yes, so be it. If you don't want to use cosine rule, it's perfectly fine. Because let me tell you, this is 10, 10, that's 16. And you can cut this into two equal parts, 8, 8. And you want to find out what is this angle. All right, that's called X, A, B. All right, and I would use, what would I use? Cosine, cosine X, A, B. All right, I can take this point here. All right, let's be, I, I'll call this small A, cos A. Because in an isosceles triangle, when it cut into two, when two sides are equal, it divides them into two equal parts. So that's 8 and 8. And what is cos A? Cos A is 8 over 10, 4 over 5. We want it in radian, so you press inverse cos. Oops, I always off my calculator. Inverse cos bracket 8 divided by 10. Close bracket and you get 0 0.64. 6435. Your A is 0 0.6435 radian. All right, that's your answer. You got that? I'm right? Great. <laughs> All right, so that's the angle X. So therefore, X AB is equal to 0 0.6435. If they want it to three significant figures, five and above, you add one. So 644 radian. That's done. 
Now they wanted to find out what is the area of the common, this area, the two circles intersect, the com area common to both circles. This is the area that you're expected to do. What do we do? Is it going to be a problem? We divide it into two equal parts. We said, hey, we need to find out the area of this sector, right? And multiply it by two. Hey, done. That, that thought, the process must come in first. And then it's just a matter of working out. All right? So look at this segment below this and this. They're both radius. You are 10, you're 10. And from here to here, you're 8. We can find the area sector. I want to find out the area of this segment. So what do we do? Part B, area of segment. I think now that you're getting better, what you do? Area of segment. X, A, Y. X, A, Y is equal to area of sector. What sector are you talking about? Sector. All right, look at this sector. We can put B, X, B, X, Y. Sector B, X, Y. Minus the area of triangle. What triangle talking about? This triangle, B, X, Y, or B, X, Y, or X, B, Y. But let's put this way. Sector B, X, Y, minus triangle B, X, Y. Right, now that we are becoming experts, I'm giving you shorter cards, all right? So what will that be? The sector is half R squared theta. The area of triangle will be half A, B sine C. But it so happens that A, B sine C, this angle, right? The angle here, you worked out this to be this angle to be 0 0.6435. So is this angle 0 0.6435. Multiply by 2 and you would get that angle. Multiply by 2 and you get 1.287. So I would like to take a footnote. Angle XBY is equals to 2 times of 0 0.6435. Four, three, five, and you get a 1.287. All right? Radian. So, well, that's your angle. Half AB sine C. That will give us the area of triangle. But so happens that both of them, sine XBY. I shall put it as sine angle XBY. Now, my dear... Look at it, shortcut. These two are common. Remember factorization? Let's take it out. Half r squared. What is left here? Theta. And what is left here? Sine xby. So your sine xby is 1.287. Now your r squared have r squared. Your r is 10. 10 squared. And your theta your theta is your angle. Oops, sorry, it's sine. I should have written the word sine. Your theta is equal to 1.287 minus sine. 1.287. Please take note, sine. All right, that's theta. How silly I've been not to write the sine. Ah, oh, be careful when you write. See what you write. Okay, let's look at it. Work at it. All right, you get half, 100, divided by 2, I get that, times, put a bracket, I get 1.287 minus sine, 1.287, close bracket, answer, I get a 16.35. Well, that is the answer, 16.35. CM squared. Just to be again cautious, all right, always come to check, all right, 100 divided by 2 is 50, bracket 1.287 minus sine 
1.287. Ding ding. Oh yeah, I got it. It's 16.35 cm squared. So we found the area of the common circle. Therefore, right? Therefore, the area of the common area. Therefore, the area of com area common. Sorry, to both circles. All right, to both circles is actually equal to 16.35 cm squared. Okay, cm squared. Ah, well, look. The sum looked a little bit challenging with very little information. They drew two circles. They drew the centers A to B connected and the length of it is 16. They told us that the radius is 10 and they wanted you to find out the angle. What is angle XAB and they wanted to find the area bound by this region. Let me shade for you. They wanted us to find out what is that region. What did we do? We needed to put some few kind lines. When I say kind lines, it helps us to see more things clearly. We joined these two and we saw, all right, a triangle, an isosceles triangle. And that made things a lot more easier. We had so many things, so many ways to do. We could do it by cosine rule, but not sine rule. Alright, sine rule must have a given pair, sine A over A equals to sine B over B. So we don't have a pair. So we could have found this angle by cosine. But why? When I have an easier method, to so. Ah, oh, let's give a kick to that idea. To so. Look at that. 10, 10, 8, 8. What is A going to be? Cos A, 8 over 10. Put it into radian because this must be in radian. We got that angle. And to find that region bounded by the two circles, no panic. We got this 10, 10. We got the aerial sector, no problem because these two angles are equal. Isosceles triangle. And once we've got the sector minus the triangle, we get the formula. But the most important thing is to know the area sector half r squared theta minus the area of triangle half a b sine c do you see how important formulas are all right okay i want you to take a cold chill drink and get back to me and let's chill out but if you've got some music you can play it for a short while have a good dance and come back to me for sec question three the third example that I'll be going through. And that's it. Alright?